Hi, it's Kelly and welcome back to my channel, Me More TV. If you're new to my channel, I make lots of videos on paleo, beauty and lifestyle. So make sure you subscribe and please click on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any videos. In today's video, I'm making a paleo nut-free bread. Um, I'm really excited about this because if you live a paleo lifestyle, you'll know that majority of recipes that, that you do um, include nuts. So if you have a nut allergy or you just don't like the taste of nuts, well this one is for you. So for this recipe you need um, three quarters of a cup of coconut flour, half a cup of olive oil, two tablespoons of honey, I use organic honey, a teaspoon of baking soda, gluten-free baking soda, and half a teaspoon of salt. I've used Himalayan pink salt, you can use sea salt, and four large eggs, a quarter of a cup of flax meal or flax seed, soaked in half a cup of water, and needs to soak for about 10 minutes before you use it. So first thing, put the oven on. Preheat the oven to about 180. Okay oven is on. Now I am in my new home and this is the first time I'm actually using this little oven. I've got a big one behind me but I'm just a bit scared. <laughs> it's just big and I'm not used to it. So if something goes wrong, not my fault, it's the oven's fault. <laughs> so I've just greased the baking tray with olive oil, lots of olive oil. Okay. And that, that one's ready. So I've just mixed all the dry ingredients there, the coconut flour, the sea salt, and the baking powder. Everything is going to go into my Vitamix. If you've seen um, any of my other paleo videos, you'll know how much I love my Vitamix. It's for all of my baking and also for all my smoothies and things like that too, it's great. Right, so that's all mixed together, the dry ingredients. Now I'm going to add all the wet ingredients apart from the flat meal that will go in right at the very end. Okay, so all of that into my Vitamix. Remember, always put your Vitamix on low when you first start, so things like explode, <laughs> which has happened to me many times. All right, so I'm just gonna mix that around. Come on, baby, there it goes. The flat meal has been soaking in water. I'm just going to add it. Make sure you add it at the very end. And whiz it together again. Okay, so that is all, all done. All right, I'm about to put it into the baking tray. The oil has run down a little bit, so make sure you just mix that up again. Make sure it's really saturated in the sides so the loaf doesn't stick. Here we go. As I said, it's new home, new oven, so I'm really going to keep an eye on this because I might have to turn the heat down a, a little bit, but it should take about 35 to 45 minutes. Okay, the knife test. Perfect. Oh, here we go, here we go. Look at that. Little, that's not bad. For me, that's pretty good. my paleo nut free bread. Do you know I am so pleased with this. This is the first time I've done my nut free paleo bread. You know what I love about this? It was so quick. So you would have seen minimal ingredients, quick zap in the Vitamix and the longest thing was in the oven, 30 minutes. Go and do what you've got to do, come back. Look at that. And it's beautiful, fresh out of the oven with a bit of almond butter. You can put some smoked salmon, you can put whatever you want on it. I know this is gonna be gobbled up the minute the kids get home, if mummy doesn't eat it first. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this video. Remember, I make lots of other videos on paleo, beauty, and lifestyle. So please subscribe, and you can find me on social media at memore.tv. not that different to the paleo bread I make with the um, almond flour. A little sweeter. Tastes great. Mm. So for this recipe, so, 